This is how to operate the LumenCraft user interface for our premium LED upgrades. We have a separate video for how to install the bulbs that I'll link in the description. By default, the bulb has three modes, low, medium, and high. For changing the modes, the method I prefer is using the half press function of the mag light switch. This means rather than clicking it and locking it into place, we're just lightly going to press the switch until the light comes on. To change modes, I just lightly press till the light comes on and then quickly let off and back on again. Do this until I find the mode that I'm looking for. And then once I've found it, I lock the switch in. You could also just full click the switch and it'll shift gears for you if you prefer that method. To reprogram the light, you're going to want to look at the cheat sheet that came with the flashlight instructions. There's also a copy of that on the listing page for the product. You just want to look up the group that's most appealing to you and then check the corresponding number for that group. Say for example, I wanted to have a group that has strobe in it. I'll look on the cheat sheet and I see that group 8 has a strobe mode. Next, we need to open the programming window on the light, and to do this, we're going to do a series of fast presses on the mag light switch. I'm going to use the half press method I described earlier, and you want to do at least eight fast presses. Just make sure that in the final press, you hold the switch in the on position. You can see that when I've done enough presses, the light stops making those bright flashes. It basically stops reacting to me pressing the switch. That's how I know I've done enough. There's how we know we've done enough. Now just press and hold it on. That flashing indicates we have opened the programming window. Next, we want to immediately input our group number, which is 8 in this case. The light jumping to full power indicates the programming window is now closed. Now, if I've done this correctly, we should have a high mode and a strobe. This group says it has no memory, so what that means is that when you pick the light back up, it's always going to default back to the first mode in that group. In this case, that's high. Something people often ask is, what does ML mean? And that just means moonlight, which is a very, very low output mode. Uh, if we wanted to have a group that had that in it, I can look on the cheat sheet here and see that uh, mode group 12 has that moonlight in it. Let's try programming to that. I'll repeat my series of eight fast presses. And then next, I'll want to do my 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And... There is our moonlight mode. This should also have a strobe in it. This group happens to have a memory function. So if you leave the light off for a certain number of seconds, it has off time memory, and then come back and pick it up later, it will memorize whatever mode you last left it in so you can come straight back to strobe if that's what you want. The light also has a turbo timer function, which will just limit the amount of time your light can remain at maximum power. To operate that, we need to enter the programming window once again, doing at least eight fast presses. But this time, after the programming window opens, we're going to do 30 additional presses. 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Hold the switch on the last one, and the light will jump to high mode. Now, just wait as long as you want maximum power to be allowed, and then shut off the light. The turbo timer is now set. From now on, when you're in high mode, once the light reaches that predetermined amount of time, it will begin cutting the power back until it reaches 50% output. For this example, I set the timer to come on after only a few seconds. See how blown out the whites on the wall are? The timer's already kicked on. Very slowly bringing the output down. It'll do that until we reach approximately 50% power. Now you can see the lower power. You can see everything on the wall. I'll jump it back up to maximum. 
and then already it's springing it down again. If you want to disable that turbo timer, open the programming window, go back to the turbo timer, but this time when it jumps to high mode, shut the light off immediately. If you cut it off in less than three seconds, that will disable the turbo timer. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly. We're always glad to help. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your business.